Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I am a part-time reseller and today we have another haul for you. And this video is an order that I did from swap.com. I have talked about this before on my channel. I am obsessed with this website. I know there's a few I say that about, but honestly, this website for me, I'm going to be sharing this video with a lot of my friends that are not part of the reselling community. I feel like most people that watch my channel are either my like close friends and family and then other fellow YouTubers who want to learn about brands and see what's selling. And so this particular website, I feel like is great for everyone because most people have children. Most people buy clothing and things for themselves. Maybe you need to shop for some gifts. I had never heard about this website and I wanted to make sure I got this video out because I have been school shopping. Our kids are going to a new school this year, I've mentioned before, and we are leaving uniforms behind, which look, I know some of y'all love schools that send your kids in uniforms. I have done that for far too many years and it cramps my style because I have a clothing obsession, clearly, which is why I do this reselling gig for fun and to dress my kids in great stuff. And my goal is always to do it for free and then profit on what they wear after they've worn it. So anyway, I'm going to share with you what I purchased from this website because I just want to get the word out there that you can score really awesome brands for such a good deal. And I know um, many, many years ago, like when my son was first born, there's no way I would have ever spent 30, 40, $50 on one outfit for him. But now fast forward, I have learned the value in taking the time to know what brands are selling. And even if you're not someone who is going to sell on platforms like I do, such as Kitizen, Poshmark, Mercari, uh, I definitely suggest at least knowing some of the better brands that you can pick up from this website that I'm gonna show you. Because if you do just take stuff to your local buy, sell, trade store, you're gonna be able to recoup more money back. And to me, that, that's always the goal, right? So. We're gonna dig in. I did, my whole goal of going to this website right now was to go school shopping for my kids and then of course pick up other items that I could then sell to make what I wanna keep free. So this was a quite a large order and I'm gonna tell you guys now, you can save 40% by using my code below. Full disclosure, if you use my code, you get to save 40% off of your purchase and they email me a coupon for 40% so that I get to go shopping again as if I was a brand new user and save 40%. So I saved a lot of money on this haul. I think I saved like $270. I don't know, it was a lot. And I will also tell you, that won't let you apply the discounts. You have to spend at least $20. And then if it's a brand new, brand, oh my gosh, brand new to the site, newly listed item, it won't apply to that. But I have found if you just favorite it and come back even a day later sometimes, I haven't quite figured out how long they keep something as newly listed. But anytime I've gone back the next day, it's let me use the coupon for that item. So maybe it's 24 hours, maybe it's longer, maybe it depends, but just keep that in mind. And um, so I've always kind of got a running favorite list so that when I get another 40% off, I can go back and add those items to my cart. So some of these items are to keep, some are to sell, and I'm gonna show you all of them. I'm going to tell you what I paid for each item. And uh, for my purposes, if you do watch my channel all the time uh, in the upcoming What Sold videos, I am going to average my cost of goods. It's just easier for my spreadsheet when I source from one place. Um, so my cost of goods is gonna be higher than lower on some stuff. So I will share that at the end. Okay, so first up, this is a brand that if you shop kids clothes, you've probably heard of. Maybe not, now you will. The brand is Hannah Anderson. This is a great brand to pick up. This, it, it has a really great resale value, but the quality is so great. These are their like cartwheel under the dress, shorts, whatever you want to call. I did purchase these for my own daughter to wear. They retail for $18. Uh, so getting them for, what did I pay for them? Brand new with the tags. They were $5.39 on the website. So that is a fantastic price for these. And what I love about this site also, you guys know I have another upcoming video uh, where certain websites, they'll put things under unlisted or unbranded or assorted brands. Swap will actually type out all the brands. So even if it's some random no-name brand, they will list it in the title, which I love. It saves time when you're looking. You can search. It's great. Okay, this is an art class outfit. Art class, most of you probably know, is purchased from Target and they make some of the cutest clothing. This is a size 5T. It's a two-piece. This is also something I bought to keep, but I know when I resell it, it's gonna sell for a lot. It will hold its value. Um, it is this brand new with the tags. 
Uh, from Target, it was $20, so it comes with a shirt. It's a plain shirt to go underneath this really cute little pinafore dress. And I love art class. It, it just seems to be better quality going through the washing machine over Cat and Jack, which I like that too, but uh, art class is definitely one I would say pick up for the right price. This, most of what I got also is brand new with the tag. I don't think I got anything that wasn't new with the tags. Uh, this dress set was $4.79. Their prices, you guys, are so cheap. And stay tuned too. If you watch me, I just, I sent in a box. It's getting ready to get processed. You can actually send them your clothes to sell, just like thread up. And um, if you keep it as store credit within their website, I think you get an extra 20% added to whatever it is that you made. I know they probably won't give you much considering the prices of their items is like dirt cheap. So I sent in a whole box of stuff from my most recent thread up 200 pound box. And I'm just curious to see what they sell stuff for. If you've been watching my channel, this is that almond champagne from Aldi. You need it in your life. Okay, these are Matilda Jane. Definitely also a brand to look out for. Here it is. This is their paint by number series. So these are brand new with the tag. I think they call these Benny's. They're ruffled leggings. These are super, super soft. Not exactly our style. So I did purchase these specifically to sell and they were $5.99. I'm telling you, even without the 40% off, their prices are amazing. And the prices that I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure are what it was listed for. And then I got my 40% off taken off during the end. My invoice doesn't really show it like that. This brand is one that I learned as a reseller a couple years ago. Molo, it is. I'm not even gonna lie, it's stupid expensive. Um, even for like, I'll pay up for some brands, but this is a really cool tie-dye shirt. It is a size six. And I did get this for my daughter to keep. Um, so it's just a graphic shirt. I got this for school for her and it was $5.99. I think it has a retail price, but if you go to their website, it's, I was a little sticker shocked with how much some of their items cost. These are same brand, Molo. These are just some little boys shorts, I believe. And they have a retail price on them of $56 and they are a size three. And they were $8.99. So I did pay up a little bit for some of them, but like I said, my average is gonna bring that down a little. This is Jimboree, but I have been, where's the other piece? Oh, it's connected to it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've been reselling for long enough to know this is a vintage Jimboree tag. And been, okay, so technically to be vintage, something has to be 20 years old, but Jimboree is kind of weird. And I think anywhere from like 2009 on is technically considered vintage. They just used to make stuff better quality. So people are seek out these particular years. So this is what the tag looks like. This is their the vintage looking tag. And this is a size five. It's a two piece bikini. They just have it connected together. Super cute, but I got this specifically to resell. It retailed for $22, but it will probably sell for around the $20 mark, just being that it is that vintage line and people look for this. So this is from 2004 and I paid $3. It was listed for $3 and then I'm pretty sure I had my 40% off top of that. So as I'm telling you, I know I'm probably letting the secret out and telling y'all about my honey hole, but sharing is caring. And I hope you can find some really awesome deals too. All right, this is another great brand to look out for. It's very similar to Matilda Jane if you're into that Southern style. The brand is Persnickety. Here's what the tag looks like. Oh, maybe, sorry, it's kind of blurry. Here it is on the back. So this is a really pretty blue, but it has a floral print in it. It's a brand new with the tags top. It is, this is a girl size seven. It's not as like, I like the Southern style. I mean, we have a ton of Matilda Jane and Persnickety in my girls' closets, but it's not as ruffly. It's more just floral and pastel and cutesy. So this is one that I would keep, but we just don't do long sleeves here even in the winter. We just throw on jackets, like a lightweight jackets because I'm in Florida and it does not get that cold here. So this shirt, I paid $5.99 for. All right, next item I specifically bought to resell. I did not expect to get the box because I don't believe these, these are pre-owned. So I will tell you a tip that I learned from other resellers. I haven't tested it because, well, I don't want to get crap, but 
I buy new with tags items and then good condition. If you see that it's listed in fair condition, I probably wouldn't buy it. I do also want to say they've got great customer service. In one of my orders, I had an item that just was completely fell apart. It was not good. And it was like on their last chance under clearance. And, uh, because, and technically, they don't allow returns of those items unless it wasn't as described. They said it was in good condition. And it was that type of faux leather where it starts to crumble. And I took it out of the package. Obviously, they they see they, what I'm not showing you is I already, because I knew I wanted to do this video, every single item comes in a bag like this. And y'all didn't want to hear for a whole video. So I went ahead and took everything out of these. And so it's labeled, you know, so they do a great job of keeping track of all of their items, which I love, especially because I sent them items. They're not going to lose them. So they probably, that item had probably just been sitting on a shelf in a hot space or something. Anyway, they were with, within the same day. They credited my credit card and I got my money back and they told me to keep the item, which unfortunately went right in the trash can. So anyway, I like to know when companies have good customer service because a lot of companies out there do not. These I got specifically to resell, but first I'm going to um, check with my mother-in-law and see if she would like them because she's got issues with her feet and I know she likes this brand. These are dance goes. I've actually never seen this style. They are a size eight sneaker. They were listed in good used condition. But as far as I can tell, other than the teeniest little scuff on a toe, they are in great shape. And I didn't know they were coming with a box, so that's always helpful. I won't sell it with the box on Kitizen or Mercari, but of course on Poshmark, where it's up to five pounds, I will. These, I paid $7.79. So guys, so I'm telling you, this site is amazing. All right, these you might have seen in another haul I've done because I purchased these exact same shoes for my husband and he loves them. These are the brand Native. I talk about it in like almost every video. Love Native shoes. They will always sell for you. And these I picked up brand new with the tags and they were $7.79. They are a mint size six. Uh, they retail for $50, but I have no doubt that these will sell pretty quickly. All right, another stack of clothes here. This is, I could tell, it just said the brand was Disney, but being that I live in Orlando and we have annual passes and I'm kind of obsessed with Disney, in the picture I could see the top part of the tag poking out like that, which I knew it was, it was official Disney Parks merchandise, which definitely has a higher value than any other, you know, like the Walmart or Target or Kohl's Disney lines. So this is a Disney Parks official shirt so cute it looks embroidered but it's just a graphic tee it is also brand new with a tag size extra small there's the tag that says disney parks but this i actually did get this for my youngest daughter for a school shirt and it was four dollars and 79 cents okay this next item is so cute i'd never heard of this brand but sometimes you can just tell by looking at something that it's quality and this was just so cute. The brand is John Lewis. This, I typically would not source little baby items, but it's a two, it's two pieces. It is embroidered, such good quality. It had the tags on it, uh, but they are in pounds and it's a two piece set. So I don't, I don't know what that is in American dollars, but I do know this was affordable. This was $5 and 99 cents. And I looked up sold comps and I know this will, I'll be able to probably pull 18 to 20 dollars shipped out of this little dress and sometimes you guys i buy stuff just because it's cute and i want it in my closet so people have a variety of sizes this brand is one that i learned by being a reseller on kitizen it is called joa love and it has a following like people like this brand it is new with the it was sold as new with the tags and when i got it it does have a new tag on it but it it isn't from joa love it's from a store called denny's uh so I, I don't know what that is. And it has a 10 on it. So I'm probably going to just take that tag off of it and sell it as new without tag. It's a size three and it's like this layered looking T. What does it say? Word, awesome, rad. I don't know. I, I just knew it was a good brand and it was brand new and it was $5.99. And then I had my 40% off. Same with this. I would never ordinarily have picked this up. Yeah. So this actually, this is the I printed my um, order sheet off for this video, but here I just found my actual invoice tucked in. So yes, like I'm gonna tell you this next item uh, was $3 and this has it broken out as well, um, plus my 40% off. So 
Okay, so this is Converse, and again, up size, it's a six to nine months, which I typically would not pick up, but it was brand new with the tags. It has a $34 retail, and it comes, it's like a whole set. Super cute, but for $3, I couldn't not put this in my cart. It's like a little sparkly. So, did get that. I've been sourcing more women's items lately, and I just needed more kid stuff because kid is in is like, that's where my heart is. I love Kittizen. I love selling on there. And we've got an event on there coming up. And I just needed some more items to fill my shop. This is another, just like that Molo brand. This brand is Monsoon. Here's the tag. Wait, where does it say Monsoon? Oh, right here. Another crazy expensive brand, but it doesn't have that good of a resale value. But I bought this for my daughter for school. It's this really cute little t-shirt style tunic dress with these sequins and it was brand new with the tags and it was six dollars and 59 cents so a steal for this brand and it's cute and that's why i'm sharing this with you guys all of the brands i bought are i could turn around and flip every single one of these items and triple my money on most of them if, if some things more than others and my daughter both of my daughters will end up wearing this as long as the older one doesn't ruin it which she has a tendency to do and i'm still going to recoup my initial investment of $6.59. I know that if they don't destroy it because of the brand, because of the quality. So, and right now, if you went, I mean, I'm not knocking Walmart, but if you went into Walmart, you're going to pay. I mean, I'm sure they have plain dresses for $6, but there's no resale value there. So I have learned to shop smarter and I'm all about making that money. All right. This is, I talked about this. If you watched my last video, the brand is Capizio, a great dance wear brand. Both of my daughters do dance. This is a really cute shimmery little pullover for when we go to dance, when it does get cold here, which is for like a month out of the year. Um, they can pull this over their leotard and it was brand new with the tags. And I paid $5.99 and um, it's sparkly. I just had to have it. This brand, crazy expensive as well, which I'm like, why would you send this stuff into swap? I mean, thread up would at least sell it for more, but Anyway, the brand is Scotch and Soda, and oh, here it is also. These are brand new with the tags, y'all. They retail for, sorry, it's so bright, $85. A girl's size four, these tie-dye shorts. $85, isn't that crazy? But I was willing to spend $8.39 on them, and my youngest will get to wear them to school, and then we will more than likely recoup our money and profit after she wears them. So definitely a Volo brand, Scotch and Soda. They had the matching, um, like a hoodie, pullover hoodie, but again, that, we don't really use it here. And I think that was like $18 or so, and I was being cheap. And it was newly listed. That one was not, so I couldn't have used my coupon yet. I think I still have it favored in. All right, I picked these up specifically to resell. This is definitely a brand, if you are a reseller, to look out for when you're outsourcing Fit Flop. These are brand new with no tags. So, oh no, wait, I lied. They have the tag. It's just right there on the bottom. Uh, these are a size nine. These are just some slides, slide sandals with some rhinestone detail. And I paid $7.79. I have sold this brand several times and they sell very quickly. aren't these the most precious things? You guys have heard me talk about bogs on my channel before. These are brand new with the tags. Unfortunately, we don't have any use to wear these type of shoes here in Florida. These are a toddler size four and obviously brand new, just the cutest little snow boots. And I paid $7.79 for these. And bogs are definitely a brand to pick up when you see them, even if they show wear they're going to sell for you uh, for no less than $30, depending on the style, all the way up. I think I've sold, I sold a pair recently for $49. They're a great brand. Same for this brand. Another pair I'm going to let my mother-in-law try on because, hey, I like to hook up the people in my life, um, but she probably won't want them because of the heel. However, this brand, they are Vionics. I've talked about this again, y'all. I may, I might only be in my 30s, but most of the flip-flops I wear are Vionics. They're, they're wonderful for my back. I have back issues. If you haven't tried Vionics, try them, but buy them off of a resale site because they retail. They're expensive. They're crazy expensive. These were listed in excellent condition. They are a suede booty 
size eight. So they will probably end up for sale just because I think this heel is a little too big for her. But these were $7.79. Like they have tons of Vionics. So this is a great website for you to try this brand out if you haven't before. And if you don't like them, they don't fit. You can go to your local consignment if you don't want to fool with online. Sell them on Facebook Marketplace for local pickup and you will at least double your money, triple your money. Guys, I'm probably going to list these for, I'll probably list them for around $80 and hope to get like around 65 to 70 because these retail for over a hundred. It's great. Same goes for these. These were a wonderful find. This is the one thing I paid up the most for these boots. I paid $24 and 59 cents for these brand new with the tags, women's bogs. They are cool. They've got this lace up design. Now they are brand new, but um, they did come with this little flaw. They're kind of, they kind of have like a, I don't want to call it a stain. I don't know, but they're boots and they're going to get messed up. So I'll definitely have to note that I could return them. They have a wonderful return policy. Like you just ship them back and they refund you. I mean, there's no questions asked. I think you only have 30 days, but um, even with that flaw, even paying up for $24, even though I'm going to average, it was worth it. It's worth it to keep those even with the flaw. Just a couple more pieces, guys. Three more items. Thank you for hanging with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Apparently that helps out my channel. So these I picked up specifically to resell. I've never heard of this brand. And I actually, in one of my upcoming videos, I'm going to help teach you how to search on another website. And I learned about this the same day I bought these. I was on the other website first. It's called Me and Henry. They have a very high about, um, retail. I mean, crazy. These are size five, six. They uh, are new with the tags. And these, let's see. They're just, there's some cotton shorts. They're very cute. But I picked these up for $4.79 and they're going to sell for at least, I'll probably list them at 25 or so. Uh, another Matilda Jane paint by numbers line, long sleeve tee. This is so cute. I'm not a smocking fan like the smocked dresses, but when there's details like this or just on the back of something precious, I love Matilda Jane clothes. The quality just feels so great. And this shirt was $5.99. So just some bread and butter kids items, guys. All right, this is the last piece. I was really excited to find this. Uh, this is my second highest pay up item. This is the brand Bowden. Oh, there is it. Hold on, there's a reason why there's not a tag up there. Here it is. Bowden is quite expensive. I just got an order in that I bought retail for my son. Um, I will pay up for full, full price for Bowdoin items because the quality is fantastic. And I will recoup almost all my money after my son grows out of that size. He loves their applique t-shirts that have like the animals and stuff. But this is a reversible, their little dog, it's so cute. It's a reversible jacket. So it's got stars on one side and the stripe on the other. And when you find stuff like this, if you're outsourcing and want to see the tag is in the pocket. So great. It is a size eight, nine. I bought this specifically to resell. I did pay $15.99 for it, but this probably retailed for, if I had to guess like around 80 or so, I don't know. There's some of their stuff is quite expensive. I think it's just polyester. I think it's down, but still. Yeah, it's just poly inside, but so cute. I wish, I shouldn't say that. I love Florida and I love the heat. I don't, but I wish that we had like maybe one snow day a year <laughs> and then I don't want to see snow anymore, but just to wear cute stuff like this. So that was my haul. Now that was 23 total items. And if I average my cost of goods, it makes it $7 and 44 cents per item, which this is all name brand. I think every single item except for maybe one pair of shoes, the dance goes, and the Vionics that looked brand new. Uh, we're new with the tags. So swap.com. Again, if you use my code down below, you're going to save 40% off of your purchase. And then you're going to get your own code. Like I'm not an affiliate or anything. Anybody gets this. So if you make a purchase, they send you a code and say, share this code with your friends. And when then you can tell someone about it and they will go shopping and you'll get another 40% off. It's unlimited. It's a different unique code every time. So thank you in advance. If you 
are then going to cause me to spend more money. I appreciate you. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.